is Creative Creations. My name is Stephanie and I will be showing you how to make the silhouette that goes onto the weathers. I've had several questions on how to cut it, draw it out, paint it, where I get it from. So in this video, I'll be sh going over all that. Um, so if you're new to my channel and love creative DIYs, please hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the bell. That way you get a notification every single time I upload. Also remember to like, share, comment, so the materials that you will need for this video, um, you'll need a piece of cardboard. I am not using the foam board anymore just because of the paint. It will, um, the foam board that you buy at the Dollar Tree um, has this paper on top of it. And if you paint it too thick, it will bubble up. So I'm not using that anymore. You can get cardboard. Um, or the project board from the Dollar Tree and it works just as good and you don't have to worry about it bubbling or peeling or any of that other stuff. So I am also use foam brushes or just one brush. Um, you also need, these are at the Dollar Tree. I use the thick one for around the head and then the thin one for the more detailed around the eyelash and the lips and the nose. So you'll also need your choosing of color. So what I have found was the apple barrel nutmeg. I love that color. Um, but I've also used the real brown. And then there's, um, of course they have other browns that you could use there as well. That's a really nice colors. If you need to lighten it up, just add a little bit of a white to it and just lighten it up slowly. Um, that way you get the shade that you desire. Um, also, so as far as my silhouette goes, I actually just Googled um, black woman silhouette. Um, I've also did, done a silhouette for a Hispanic and just um, typed in Latina silhouette, woman silhouette. Um, and I try to find ones without the hair or um, that have a little hair just because I want to make sure that it's perfectly rounded off. I take it to um, Office Max. I actually download the PDF into my email and I forward it to Office Max. And what they do is that they enlarge it onto an eight by 10 piece of paper and they blow it up to fit all the way almost close to the rim of the photo or to the paper. Now this one in particular is seven inches wide on the head and then how tall it is is depending on the size of the neck. Normally I have it about nine inches tall. Um, you could lengthen the neck to put fabric on there, necklaces, or you could shorten it, put it at an angle. So it all depends on the neck on how tall you want it to be. But the roundness I have it at seven inches because I always use an eight inch reform. I don't never go any bigger than that because when you do the hair, it literally will take over the door. Um, so that's what I do with that. This is my template. Once you get the paper and you get one solid template that you really like, just keep a copy of it. Um, that way you don't have the paper anymore. You just have it on a solid piece of cardboard. And as you can say, oh, I've, I've kind of played around with this one, painting it and stuff like that. Um, so today, um, and of course you'll need a pencil um, and some brushes. Um, typically not this big brush unless you don't have a foam brush. You can use this big one to paint her with. Um, but you also want some smaller brushes just for her lips um, and the eyeshadow up there and then for the outline of her eyelash and her eyebrow I use a sharpie the sharpie works way better than black paint because the black paint if you do not have a steady hand to paint with the black paint don't do it just use the sharpie and it comes out just as pretty and sometimes prettier in my personal opinion so just take the um, silhouette and just hold on to her here. And then usually I start on the back side of her face and just go all the way around and go around the, the 
eyelash is the main thing that you might have a problem with besides her nose and her lips. And sometimes when you trace this, it doesn't look quite right. So just go back and fix it the way that you want it to look. So if you don't want the eyelash to be super thick, just kind of thin it out. Um, sometimes my silhouettes come out looking different than others. I don't cut, cut them exactly the same every single time. There we go. Now, if you wanted to per personalize this, you could always take the silhouette of the person that you're making it for. So let's say I'm making one for my sister. I would sit there and um, have her sit down and get a lamp and cast the shadow onto the wall just hang a piece of paper on the wall and trace her face on there and you could of course you could put the curvature of her head on there as well and then that way it's a little bit more personal because it's the actual person's face which i thought that was a pretty neat idea to do to personalize it for whoever you're making it for if you're making it for a gift so um next all right so the next thing we'll be doing is cutting it out you can't really see the pencil outline um, you can see a little bit over, but usually I start on the back and the reason being, well, actually I, I usually cut them in half or to try to Make sure you got a good pair of scissors for this because if you don't, you won't be able to cut through the cardboard. And using the razors or these blades, you have to be really careful because all it takes is one slip of the hand and you will cut your finger. Um, and it is not fun. So I try to cut mostly around the head first. I leave the face for last just because you are going to need to use these utensils. So if you cut, cut most of it with your scissors, try to do that before you ever use those razor blades, just for safety. getting it cut if you didn't want to go through you know having several different razor blades and scissors you could also go to like an office max staples or an office supplies place see the thickest cardstock that they have 
um, take the silhouette that you're wanting them to cut out and you could have several of them cut out at the same time. And then that way you don't even have to worry about doing any of the printing, cutting, drawing, anything like that. You already have the silhouette and they do all the work for you. The only thing is you have to pay for it to be done. Um, so the next thing I want to do, usually I keep it on a piece of cardboard, especially when I'm going to paint and stuff. So I use my foam board until I um, paint the eyelashes and stuff. So I go ahead and paint everything the solid color that I'm wanting. So I kind of just, just slowly paint it on there like that. shade you're wanting to go with you go one coat um, or two coats if you want to go a little darker just do three coats just let it dry in between coats that way you get a full coverage because if you paint it on top of wet on top of wet it's just going to saturate it and it will probably just not look right so I put two coats on this particular silhouette um, when I go to draw her eyelash onto the actual cardboard. I use a pencil first to mark out where I'm going to draw it before I actually use the Sharpie. Um, so usually I try to make it look as natural as possible. Um, and I try to use her as a template just to remember but every time I, I try to do the eyebrows, I just try to make it look as natural as possible. Because sometimes when you do this, it doesn't look very natural. And the reason I do it this way is that way you see how it's going to look with the pencil first before you ever use the Sharpie. Because if you start painting and using the Sharpie, um, you'll just mess it up. Because even if you were to repaint it brown, it won't cover Sharpie. Like, it literally will bleed through and it doesn't look good at all. So just play around with this part. Like I said, it's all about preference. Um, this particular silhouette, the eyelash came a little higher up than this one did, so I'm just having to adjust where I actually put her eyelash at, because I don't want it to look huge. Alright, so once you've got it penciled in the way that you want it, Take the Sharpie and fill it in.
go. And there is her eyelash. So the next thing you're gonna do is her eyebrow. And on this part, you kinda just want to go up, um, not even a half of an inch. And just draw it in with the pencil again. Where you want it before you actually use the Sharpie because I have ruined a couple of them doing it or just trying to eyeball it. And once you have it in there, just take your Sharpie and go right over your pencil. And as far as your lip goes, I use paint for this. Now, it's just depending on what color you want the lip to be. So, I chose red for today. I really like the red lip. Um, the tutorial I just made had the silver lip just like she does. And this silver paint actually has glitter in it. Um, I've used white, pink. Like I said, it's completely up to you on your preference of color for her lip and on this particular you want to use a small brush you do not want a big brush to paint on her lip uh, so try to get a tiny brush for her lip and the reason being is because you don't want it to be a lot and usually if you're not going to do like a heavy lip on it you wanted something more simple you would just kind of do like a little lip like that but now if you want to do more of a lip like this And of course, that one doesn't look bad at all. See, it's just quite simple. And a lot of those wreaths do have just simple makeup on there. Um, but I've had people that want, you know, the eyeshadow and the lip liner, um, which is perfectly fine. But this is a simple one. And all you do is, like, literally with your paintbrush, you just take and run a little line. Of red now if you wanted to keep it simple and just make the lip just a little darker just let it dry in between coats um, that way you get a darker shade of the color that you're going for but now if you're wanting to do a full lip like this one you need to take your pencil again and you're gonna take the lip and I usually use the point of reference Right underneath the nose, there's a V. You go down a little further than the V. And right underneath her little lip here. And you kind of create kind of like a point. And then you curve it right here. So you're kind of making, I don't know if y'all could see that or not. But with the pencil, you're just making kind of like a curvature of her mouth is what you're doing. And then I always make her smile. So I go from this back point and just curve it into her mouth like that. Where she has that little crevice in her mouth. And then I usually like to paint the lip first before I ever put the, high, uh, the um, lip liner on. So, now that's, that's full lip 
without lip liner and then I could add the lip liner to it. Now, if you go ahead and trace it out with your pencil and all you want is a full lip with no lip liner, then you can just um, try to keep your paint inside of the pencil line. Um, and then you could go back after the paint dries and erase the pencil line and nobody will see it. But now, if you're wanting to do the high the um lip liner just wait for it to dry and then we'll go around it with the lip liner so now as far as the eyeshadow goes i try to match the lip and the eyeshadow together now when it comes to red i usually do more of a pinkish on the eye so I mix a little bit of white and some red together to make a pretty little pink. And of course I use my small brush for this as well. I need to make it a little bit darker of a pink there. Hold on. So, I mean, if you look at her now, she looks fine. Full lip, just quite simple. But then if you want to add the eyeshadow, I just put a couple dabs of it on there and make sure that you get your dry brush or your foam brush, sorry, and just kind of dab it in there. Just like that. Now, of course, you could add, I mean, you could add as much and not as much as you want to to it. If you want to darken it up just a little bit, just put a little bit of red in there and just dab it in there. And dab it in there like that. Now another technique you could use is by getting the um, you could get the uh, makeup foam brushes or the sponges the makeup sponges and use that. I would not suggest that you use real makeup on this because it's not once you clear coat it it's probably going to run off. Um, I've never tried real makeup on these silhouettes. I've always done just paint. Um, so yeah. That's how she looks like so far. You could also add, you know, a, some cheek makeup if you want to. Um, now if your paint runs over into your eyelash or your eyebrow, don't worry. Just go back with it with your Sharpie. And just go right back over it and highlight that back on.
So it's completely on what you're wanting to do with it. Now, if you want to add the lip liner, and like I said, all this stuff is optional stuff. If you're just wanting to be a little extra, just go over the pencil line that you originally drew on her lip. And then just make sure to add the line. You got that? So, that way you could see her. But, like I said, this is completely on how you're wanting to do it. Um, um, you know, you can make more of a nude color. I usually go with a really bold lip um, and I try to make the eyeshadow mat match to it. Um, and then if you want your lip a little darker, just try to stay within your lines. That's all. And then if you happen to paint over your black lines, like I said, don't worry about it. Don't panic. Just wait for the paint to dry and then just go right back over the lines. Another question I've had is how do I attach it to my reform? So, of course, you know, you get a two pack from the Dollar Tree. Um, there's several ways you could attach it. So, of course, you can tell there's three bars here, right? So, you're going to slide her head in between these two bars and then adjust her how you want her. Now, the next thing you're going to do, you could poke a hole right through the top of her head just like this. You might need something a little bigger and get a pair of scissors. So just poke a hole on the top of her head just like this. And you can get just a, a regular pipe cleaner. You don't need it, the full pipe cleaner either. You just need half of it. So take it and then slide her down because you're going to take the back part of it and run it. Let me show you. Sorry. Uh, so you're going to run it through the back. So it's going to go through the top bar. If that's where you want her head to be at. If you want it lower, then of course it can go through the middle bar. But I'm going to put her right here at the top bar. The back pipe cleaner's there. And then you just take it and twist it on there. Um, you could also just hot glue it on there and it will stay. Um, but yeah, that's how I attach it to the reef. And of course, you can tell it is not coming off. So, alright guys. So if you happen to have any other concerns or questions about it, please don't hesitate to leave it down in the comment section. Also, subscribe, like, share. Um, check me out on Facebook, Instagram. Twitter and also um, if y'all don't want to cut it out and y'all want to purchase one if y'all would check out Tanisha aka craft dash T she is selling a whole kit and the form itself comes in wood I will leave her information linked down below in the description I don't think that she's asking very much for her kit um, and of course she has a Cricut where she cuts everything out. It's all pre-cut for you. All you would have to do is literally paint it. Um, so yeah, I'll leave her information down below. But thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good day.